Oh, my favourite time of the year, Christmas. This is me really just wanting to thank so many people that have helped Timmy's World in 2019. Starting off with Brenda Blethyn, who did the most fantastic cameo part. We're coming anywhere near my hair. I want you to cut Jack's hair. The dog? Yes, the dog. Are you sure about this, Tim? To Claire Sweeney. Hairdresser to the stars, my ass. To Stephen Mulhern. Tim Cock? I thought it was Nicky Cock. To Dean Sullivan. Where's my toupee? And to David Benson. And to Joan Le Mazurier. Ah! Back to your fringe, darling. I'd also like to thank for their complete, great, constructive criticism and help. Siobhan Green. Thank you, Siobhan. I went to bed last night and I had a dream I was going to be flying home to do Britain's Got More Talent with Stephen Mulhern. And I woke up this morning and I realised I am. Because I got the call from my TV. Would I be a guest celebrity on Britain's Got More Talent? Yes, I would. Ask me how I feel. How do you feel? Nervous, happy, scared, excited, all those emotions put into one. All the days to give up alcohol. I don't know why I'm frightened. That I was asked to go on Britain's Got More Talent as a celebrity guest. Oh my god, I'm here. I'm back. I'm back in television land. To Louisa Monroe from day one, who has guided us, helped us, and given us such amazing advice. They were chanting actually, Timmy, 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 Timmy. We had a lovely moment from Louisa who said, you'll now be known as Timmy. And I think the same probably happened for Lulu because she was Laurie Marie McLaughlinock New or something for a very long time. And then someone just said, you're Lulu from now on. Okay. And tonight I've become Timmy. Sylvie Bollioli for putting me in the Ramsgate International Film and TV Festival. Hey, good for you, you've got great taste. Yeah, that's why I've programmed it. Uh, um, it's your premiere tonight. Yeah. So Alex, tell me, how has he been? Well, well if I'm being perfectly honest, it's been an absolute nightmare. I'm trying to find your red shoes. Right, hang on a minute, my red shoes. shoes. My Let me find them. My red shoes. World premiere. It was either going to be New York, Las Vegas, or Ramsgate, and Ramsgate won. Yay! Let's get on with it. What did you think of Timmy's World? Amazing. I absolutely loved it. What did you think of it? What did you yeah, think? Really good. So you enjoyed it? Yeah, absolutely. Have you followed Super. Timmy's World then? Yes, super. Hi, what did you think of Timmy's World? Fabulous. I loved it. Did you? Did it was you hilarious. Really enjoyed it. Yeah, really yeah. Are you following Timmy's world now? Yes. Instagram? On it. On it. On it. Good girl. Sharing it. Fantastic. Thank you. How old are you girls? How old are you? 15. I'd like to thank James Whale for putting me on his radio show. I was on James Whale's radio show live in London, cutting Ash's hair. Thank you so much. Whoa! Ash is now having a haircut by celebrity <laughs> Just hairdresser. hairdresser to stars who's having slight problems because he's got dreadlocks at the back. He's got to cut around the and dreadlocks. And he didn't know he'd got them. <laughs> he's got to cut around them. Because he hasn't combed his hair since he was 12. Yeah. I have been wanting no. to do this for a hundred years on the radio. <laughs> We're doing film things today, Ash, all right? <laughs> it's not looking very good for you. It's The Exorcist. Yeah, going in, anyone out on your holiday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks like Brad Pitt's brother, <laughs> Cess. Just found three eggs on a bird's nest. The hardest Explain. part is to tr is, is combing it. God, I sleep well tonight. <laughs> God help us. You look like, the, you look like the last doll in Woolworths yeah, that yeah. nobody wanted. Oh, I wish good. people could see this at home. <laughs> it's wasted <laughs> on the radio, isn't it? <laughs> I'd like to thank Mandy Winters, the fantastic Mandy Winters, for putting me on her radio show, which was great fun. He's full of life, full of excitement, and I'm thrilled to welcome him into the studio. The wonderful, wonderful, delightful, over the top. Tim Clark. Darling, it's, I am over the moon to have you here this afternoon. Thank you for coming. I am more thrilled, Mandy. The class on a Thursday. <laughs> so what Timmy's World does, I reflect on my diaries, on my life, 
I joined Stutz Bear Cats when I was 27, okay. and my first job was Dean Martin at the Palladium, supporting Dean Martin, yeah. There's a lot of people that need to know about the Crankies. I'd like to thank Dominic King at Radio, BBC Radio Kent, who absolutely did a lot of homework on me, and we had such a ball. Thank you, Dominic, very much indeed. Coming up tonight after eight, mm. we are beside ourselves. We really are. I'm nervous. Um, I am a little bit. Nervous I'm, energy. You know, I mean, I've, I've interviewed some big names yeah. in my time, but... It's a big deal. Tim Clark, hairdresser to the stars <laughs> from Ramsgate. You should have brushed your hair, maybe. Me. Hi, Dominic. Hi. Are you all right? You yeah, yeah. You gave me a lot of name checks on the way here. Yeah. And, and uh, to be honest with you, I've done a lot of things in my career, <laughs> like the Palladium and everything, but to be driving my KA in the pitch darkness and you've mentioned me three times on the radio we need one off the lay-by didn't we twice you see that yeah 10 seconds before the news He made it. He's quicker than Gloria Hanna first. He was a chance star at the age of 13. He was in Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat in the West End. He appeared in Alan Parker's movie Bugsy Malone. His feet are light as a feather, having been a member of Dougie Squire's second generation dancers, but also he's here and we are so... What? What's safe? Um, I'm really sorry. There's been some sort of contractual issue. Right. You can't do your yeah. I wonder why he's sitting in front of me and not speaking. Yeah, What's... it has to be the future. I'm really sorry. Right, so he, he has... I have to play a theme tune. You, you have to play his theme Seriously? Sorry. He's got I his own... And he won't talk... Because he he's... Look, I'll bring his microphone up and he's just not saying anything. He Timmy, you are here. You're, he's just nodding now. It has to be that theme tune. Sorry. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> Hi, Timmy. Hi. There he is. How are you? I'm very good. I'm, uh, please don't think I'm a diva. You know, <laughs> people like, you know, Mariah Carey with a crisp advert and all that. You know, yeah, I'll do yeah. it 12 million pounds, but I'm not going to eat the thing. But <laughs> it's nice for me when I go to do a live radio show to have my theme music. Yeah, I mean, I, I, if I'm honest with you, it, it's a new one for me. I've, I've never had that happen yeah. in any interview before. Timmy, 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 Timmy. Uh, thank you so much for coming on the show tonight. You mentioned a song for Europe. You entered it... What, five times? Yes, yeah, yeah, three times on screen, then two times, you know, behind the scenes when the songs didn't get them. And I was, do you remember Bardo? Yes! One step further up. <laughs> I was in that for about four days, and then they took me out on my birthday because it was two bucks fizzy. Oh, right. So I went on Suicide Watch again. Right. And I was on Hit the Dubonnet. You know, when you're 20 years old, you're sort of picked up in a car in the morning, you're a star for six weeks. Photo sessions, everything's paid for, you're at Morton's, having steak sandwiches. On the day of the Eurovision, the Song for Europe, you're picked up in a car, driven to the TV centre, mm. and then the votes come in, and you've got all the songwriters around you, patting on the back, and they start, you know, song number five, four, three. And as it goes on and on, you turn around, and everybody that was around you, so they've gone. Oh, no. And I got the 207 bus home. You're left on your own? On your own, with a carrying case and a red glittery outfit walking down Northfields Avenue. Timmy, the thing is, you, 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 you make such an impression on all of us, mm. and that's what I just think a lot of people are experiencing with you in Timmy's world. Well, they, they do, and I do, I do a couple of impressions. I do a bit of Cliff, you know. It's so funny, but we don't talk anymore. And I do Shirley Bassey. Right. Something in our ear, back in our walls. I do a bit of that, and I do a bit of Scylla, you know. Surprise, surprise. You made those kind of impressions. And I'd also like to thank Teresa Bazaar from Dollar. Do you remember Dollar? Love her. I was in Dollar three weeks ago in London, sold out, and I was in Dollar, and Teresa was a sweetie. Thank you so much for all that. I'm doing a guest appearance in it, but I can't say what I'm doing. I'm a bit worried at the moment. This is my PA, Alex. Yeah. It's got a perforated eardrum. I'm so sorry I couldn't come to London with you. Are you nervous, Timmy? No. For you, this is going to be like deja vu. Oh. See you on the green. Chuckers! What is going on? Teresa, Sean, you recognise me. I think you better sit down. I think we both better sit down. Come on, darling. It's gonna take some time. How many guys out there tonight want to be me? <laughs> I'm with Teresa Bazaar, my darling, and she is the sweetest. I'm gonna do a meet and greet tonight in McDonald's. <laughs> 
if anybody's if anybody's bothered, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, Timmy from Timmy's World. To Julie Forsyth, my producer, my director, and my manager. So that's it, really. And also, I'd just like to thank everybody, my friends and people on Facebook. I've got five thousand people on Facebook. And thank you for sharing and for liking. And please, can you all subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Timmy's World TV on YouTube. And you can follow us, you can share. It's all about spreading the word. All we do is try to make everybody laugh. Please spread the word. Thank you to everybody. Here's to Christmas, to 2020, to Timmy's World and Muzzle tov. and just check these deers out. What do you call a deer with no glasses? Don't know. Good idea. What do you call a deer with bad, with no, what do you call a deer with glasses on? You see, this is take seven. I was actually more sober on take one. What do you call a deer with glasses on? Don't know. A bad idea. <laughs> okay. So darlings, spare yourself four minutes and you can look at the best of Timmy's world. And thank you to everybody I've just mentioned. Mazel tov. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. My bubble, all right? Perfect. I'm gonna have a really quiet weekend. I'm on the wrong side of 50. This weekend's got to be quiet. I don't want to be one of these artists that kind of overdoes everything. Timmy, has fame changed you? No. Everybody wants a bit of me, you know? There will be a book at some point. <laughs>